This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 3M streaming projector powered by Roku. Our favorite hardware man, and Lloyd Case from PC World is back in-house. Lloyd, hey. are you loving the Windows 8 experience? Loving? Well, I like the <laughs> Windows 8 experience. <laughs> I love my children. I love my wife. Yeah. Operating systems, not so much? Yes, well, I mean, to me, they're all tools, right? But okay. they're tools that you're, are. You're that talking I about the enjoy. operating system, yes. not the family. That's Sorry. the correct. I'm just saying, in case right. anybody's watching. I don't think my daughters would appreciate it if I called them tools. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> well, it, 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 my, my toolish digression aside, how are you feeling about Windows 8? I mean, we should point out that you're, you're the first piece of hardware, of course, you brought here is not a tablet, not a notebook but a touchscreen monitor. Well, and a desktop PC, I should, that's kind of like behind the curtain here, right? Mm -hmm. It's an actual Core i7 gaming system mm -hmm. with a touch display. The T232HL from Acer, mm -hmm. it's a touchscreen monitor, full, supports full 10-point touch. You know, you can do all the Windows stuff that you want to do. Scroll, touch, launch apps, now that I've got it in tiny mode. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can, uh, and it's a full IPS panel, so it's a nice display. Our, our display guys tested it and said, oh, this is a good, good monitor. Well, I mean, how does this compare in terms of cost to a standard like 24 inch, 27 It's probably it's going to cost you about 100 bucks more mm -hmm. because the 10 point touch, uh, they had to put the sensors on there. Mm -hmm. So the retail price on listed on the ACER website is 499 Probably a little cheaper once it gets on the net. So, so I should probably stick to my, my $80 touchpad from Logitech, the, the, the TL650. Oh, those were great, yeah, Because Do you find it frustrating going from the keyboard to reach up and touch stuff on the screen? No, I find it to be very context-oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, keyboard and mouse, I've learned all the keyboard shortcuts. There's a ton of those for, Told for Windows 8 <laughs> that are really handy. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but for certain things, particularly when in you're in this user interface and you're doing stuff with um, the Microsoft applications, you know, calendar and all that other kind of stuff, or you want to do quick and dirty things like that, going back and forth between apps. The touch is actually not that hard. It's not that, it's, it, it becomes natural after a while. This is that sort of couple week hump to get over. Exactly right, yeah. It. Remember that this is not the new user interface for all of Windows. This is the replacement for the start menu. <laughs> I keep telling people that. They don't believe me, but that's all it is. It's a replacement for the start menu. Yeah, no, and, and classic start, of course, is an option if you want to get back to the original right. start menu. Right, or, or start eight from start off. As far as I can tell, Windows 8 seems a little bit snappier, work yep. a little bit better with less memory than Windows 7. Yeah, they, the, all the windows and stuff, even when you're in the desktop, are now used DirectX, so they're kind of rendered with your 3D card hardware, which is even with classic Intel integrated graphics is way better than it used to be. Mm -hmm. So that means that things just feel responsive. Just dragging windows around seems more responsive. How do you feel about... Uh, when you're looking at Windows 8, you know, GP, I mean, gaming performance seems to be spot on. Yep. Hardware support seems to be anything that's supported under Windows 7 hardware wise seems to be there already. Mostly, the, mostly true. I, I think we're going to run into some interesting issues like Microsoft completely did away with the old fashioned printer drivers, right? Instead of a printer driver for every single piece of every single printer out there, they now have printer class drivers like mm -hmm. they had display class or USB class drivers and stuff like that. So I think you may run into some hiccups with some older printers. <laughs> But that happened with Windows 7, and I was that happened say, all versions of Windows before I was going to say Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows... <laughs> right, <laughs> yep. Um, but uh, things like graphics cards, mm -hmm. things like mice keyboards, all that stuff works like you'd expect. Most of the games I've tested seems to run fine. There's a few little glitches. For example, Crisis, no matter what you do with the settings, is always locked to, to the refresh rate of the monitor. You can't turn off VSync oh, wow. anymore. It's kind of strange. Uh, it's, just, it's just Crisis 2, excuse me, not mm -hmm. Crisis. Uh, but other games seem to work like you expect. Uh, our benchmarks all run on it. So it's, 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 it's basically no major hiccup so far. So far. I mean, again, as you run into older stuff, you're going to run into some issues probably. But, but again, the biggest headache people will have is adjusting to the new uh, start screen. So Microsoft Surface came out. PC World's reviews already up. How do you yeah. feel about the Surface tablet? I mean, is it a well, Windows 8 you, tablet? You mean the is Surface it? RT okay, tablet. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the Microsoft Surface with Windows RT. You get right. it. Well, okay, so Microsoft Surface with Windows RT. So we should probably get it out. If you're shopping for a right. tablet, should you avoid there, RT like the plague? There are two versions of Windows to make sure for people who have been living in, you know, underground for if, a long time. If you missed our previous two explanations, <laughs> right. listen to the man. There's Windows 8, which right. runs on PCs. There's Windows RT, which runs on ARM processors and currently there's a couple of products available. There's the Surface uh, with uh, Microsoft Surface with Windows RT. Mm -hmm. There's the Asus, Asus Vivo tab, which we have a review up as well on PC World. And those are just running mostly this, these desktop style apps. Mm -hmm. You go to the desktop, which you can't really do anyway, 
um, very well. All you get is a cut down version of Microsoft Office. Right. And, you can, and the file system, you can have access to the file system. It, Windows RT basically means your apps are coming from the Windows Store and nowhere else. Nowhere else, that's right. How do you feel about like, you know, the Lenovo Yoga and some of the other touchscreen tablets? Are they really coming, touchscreen, flip top? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I think I, I haven't really formed an opinion on mm -hmm. which one I like best yet. Okay. But I think it's cool that there's all things. Remember how boring PC, I mean, everybody came out with a clamshell laptop and everybody right. came out with their. And it's that was cool done for right. 10 years. It just got thinner. And now we got all this experimentation going on. It's really cool to see. I mean, you got everything from this crazy all-in-one that one, Main Gear, I think, is shipping mm -hmm. to uh, you know these these clamshell and yogas and flip yeah. screens and I mean, I sliders. Saw Lenovo and where it's like you can get it with a keyboard, and the keyboard adds eight hours of battery life. It turns it into a notebook. Right. It functions as a tablet yep. with all of its functionality. Yep. It's fun to see this kind of stuff happen. So we'll get you back in a, in a few weeks to talk about which what are your picks for, right. for notebooks and tablets before the before the, the holiday shopping season arrives with force. But I understand that you actually have purchased one of the Korean monitors available on eBay. One of oh, the, yes. the, the, the the WQHL <laughs> uh, twenty seven inch. Have you guys talked about this yet? We talked about it. We also we were talking. We've talked about it. A friend of mine bought one. Yep. I'm about to buy one. And then Monoprice says they're going to import, you know, a monitor that's that's competitive. So it's 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 okay. a nerve wracking experience. The thing you go on eBay. Yeah, this guy has nine thousand positive ratings. This Korean <laughs> vendor, but you can't really return it. I mean, you could ship right. it back to Korea and return. And they're really gracious about it when you do. Mm -hmm. But you have to incur all the shipping costs to return it and all that kind of stuff. And it's not cheap to ship back to Korea, right? But this is a three hundred and eighty dollar twenty seven right. inch, like twenty five sixty by fourteen forty right. monitor with the IPS. same glass yep. as the high end Apple thirty inch monitor. The twenty seven inch, inch monitor. Sorry. Yeah. And it's gorgeous, and it works great. There's, there's, and they have different levels. You know, you can get built-in speakers, you can get built-in uh, video processors, so you can do all the scaling on the monitor rather than your graphics card. I just got the basic one, mm -hmm. which just has one DVI input. You scale with the graphics card, but it works great. So it's time for me to buy my Cat Leap. If you want to take that risk, uh, get the one with the perfect pixel guarantee. Copy that. That's worth an extra 20 bucks because then you know that they've taken it out of the box, they've looked at it, and they made sure that all the pixels light up properly and there's no hot pixels and stuff like that. The best 20 bucks you'll ever spend when buying something from Korea. That's right. Build conference next week. Any, any surprises you expect from Windows you know, or Microsoft, from Microsoft? Microsoft's playing very close to the chest with the agenda. I want to see stuff, you know, they've done all this gesture stuff with the touch screen, right? I want to see if they do something with Kinect for the PC so you can do more broad based gestures without having to reach across the plane of your keyboard, right? That would be cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to other things. And what, what are developers going to do with the App Store? Are they really going to take it to it, or are they going to still continue to develop classic apps? It'll be interesting to see. We wait with bated breath. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lloyd Case, PCWorld.com is where you can find more of his work. Go check it out now. It is good stuff. Right now, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Hey, it's time to experience your favorite online entertainment on the big screen with the 3M streaming projector powered by Roku. Let the magic of projection bring your friends and family together like never before. And enjoy your favorite movies and shows 120 inches across. That's easily twice the size of most HDTVs. The built-in battery and Wi-Fi capability make it extremely portable. You can pack it in your bag and go. You know what's even better? The projector has a Roku streaming stick built in. That means you can project your Amazon Instant Video, Netflix, Hulu Plus, Revision 3 shows, and other favorites to any surface. A big wall in the living room, the side of the garage, or the basement ceiling. Anywhere you have Wi-Fi, project shows and movies for a theater-like experience no one will forget. For more product information, go to bringepicback.com or check out the reviews and buy it now at Amazon.com.